Getting a phone number is pretty simple in South Korea, even when you don't have an alien card, but that's what most people don't know. So if you're thinking about traveling to South Korea and you're equally thinking about how you could get hold of a phone number so as to keep contact with your family back home, then this video is for you. Keep on watching, please, till the end. Hello, hi, hi, welcome back to another video. So, today, I'm going to be talking about a very important point that I've noticed. It's about having a phone number when you get to Korea. Actually, getting a phone number in South Korea is very easy. It's just that a lot of people do not know. You don't really need an alien card or what we normally call a an ID card to get a phone number in South Korea yeah for sure some people do know but the majority of people who are traveling to South Korea for the first time they don't know in this video I am going to be talking about where to get a phone number before even traveling to South Korea and let's say you're already in Incheon Airport South Korea how to go about getting a phone while already in Incheon, South Korea. Or let's say you've already gone through Incheon and you're already in South Korea, you're already in the city, any of the cities in South Korea. How to go about getting a phone number? How to go about not waiting until your alien card is out before getting a phone number? And if the even after getting a phone number how to go about continue using that same number without having to change numbers all the time so we are going to cover all of that in this video it is important to know that you can get a phone number even while you are at your home country it doesn't matter be it in North or South America be it that you're in East Asia any part in Asia or in Africa, you can equally have your phone number before traveling to South Korea. So the question is, how is that possible? Yeah, it is 100% possible to get hold of a Korean SIM card even before moving to South Korea. Even if you're traveling to South Korea for a very short period or maybe for a long term, let's say you're traveling to South Korea as a student or traveling South Korea to work you can actually procure your SIM card at your home country before coming over to South Korea so let me tell you how this works there is a website called crazy it's spelled T-R-A-Z-Y if you go to Google and then you type crazy SIM card a site will come up on that site they have a lot of options they have a lot of plans on buying a sim card even before traveling if you go to the website you can choose a lot of options so for example there is an option where if you need only data you could buy only data and there is a duration you could get one for like maybe a month or 90 days if you have a 90 days that's three months visa you could buy one that has a plan for data voice calls and sms you could have many other options you just need to go through the website and then look for the options that best suit your needs it's easy so how does it work after choosing your plan there is a process for you to go about filling your address filling your credit card and then they'll post the SIM card to your home address. After you must have received your SIM card, you have to activate the SIM card. After your SIM card is delivered to your address, you have to follow the manual that is on the SIM card to activate the SIM card. It's very easy. There is a step-by-step -step process written on the SIM card box that, will, it's, it's, that encloses the SIM card. All you need to do is follow the, the steps 
and then you would activate your sim card there is another option if you are already in south korea we know now it's covid times so you would have to go through a quarantine period but in the case where you visit korea while quarantine is still active the, the sim card can equally be delivered to your quarantine destination so those are the two options you can get your sim card delivered to you while you're still in your home country you can equally receive your sim card while you're already in south korea it's a very simple process just go to the website choose the options that you want you can equally receive your sim card while you're already in south korea it's a very simple process just go to the website choose the options that you want even before buying the sim card on Trazy, they usually tell you the number of days that it will take to get to a particular destination so you don't really have to worry it's a very simple process they do offer international shipping to your home country and after receiving it all you need to do is activate it and then travel to south korea once you have your sim card you can insert it into your phone immediately your plane is landing at Incheon International Airport you can turn on your phone and then your phone will search for the network and then it will get connected to the network and you're good to go if it happens that you travel to Korea without buying your SIM card don't worry at Incheon International Airport you can actually buy a SIM card yes sim cards at incheon international airport have different prices i think the cheapest there is twenty thousand won, which is less than twenty dollars but the only disadvantage with the sim card at incheon international airport is that it is less than two gigabyte of data so if it happens that you're traveling to south korea to spend maybe three or four days or maybe let's say less than a week if you know you don't consume too much data that should be okay for you you could purchase the one at Incheon international airport and then use it and then another option could be for you to install the korean application called kakao talk why am i recommending kakao talk it is because kakao talk does not consume too much data you could use it for voice calls but if you decide to use it for video calls know that video requires too much bandwidth and it consumes a lot of data to transfer images the packages the image packages consume too much data so you might end up using the less than two gigabyte data in less than no time if you know you need too much data that's where you have to take the third option and this one is when you're already out of Incheon International Airport let's say you didn't get a sim card back home and you didn't get a sim card at Incheon International Airport and now you're in the city you're in South Korea how do you go about getting a sim card it's pretty easy there are phone shops scattered everywhere that sell sim cards so the main operators in south korea are sk telecom i think that is south korean telecom there is kt telecom which is korea telecom and then there is lg u plus that's provided by lg which one would i recommend i will recommend you going for sk telecom for one simple reason this is out of experience i think my current number used to be sk telecom but i'm no longer with sk telecom right now i'm using lg u plus and i think it's the cheapest as far as data is concerned but anyway i'm satisfied with the service that i'm having i'll explain that one at the end of this video why i decided to stick with lg u plus and not sk that i am recommending so let's say you need a sim card you're already in the city how do you go about getting a sim card it's very easy in south of korea 
like in almost every city there are offices that sell sim cards almost everywhere in south korea so you'd move around you find red buildings the buildings are always red i don't know if they have a special thing for red it's what you need to do is get into sk telecom tell them you are a tourist and you need a sim card to use during your stay in korea because your stay is very short you don't need something that you use for a long term it's very easy or you could tell them in korean language that yohan haro wasimida yohan haro hanguge wasimida so basically you're trying to say that i came traveling or i'm i, I am in korea as a tourist in so, most cases they'll provide you with two services the first one provides you with two gigabytes of data and that one will cost you about 30,000 won. The next one will provide you with five gigabytes of data and that one will probably cost 45,000 won. I'm not pretty sure because sometimes the prices fluctuate but the last time I checked that's how it was. So go to SK Telecom and tell them you want a short-term plan and the only condition will be that you would need to provide them with your passport yes your physical passport not a photocopy not a copy of your passport it will do a copy of your passport and then hand over your passport back to you so why would i recommend sk telecom the advantage with sk telecom is that it's they do offer prepaid services where your number will always be available. That is to say, should in case after finishing the two gigabyte of data and then you want to recharge, you can use your credit card, visa, whatever to recharge and in most cases if you want you could begin from 5001 which is less than five dollars 10,000 15 20 25 whichever it's your choice so after you must have exhausted the the data or the credit that is inside your sim card your number will still be reachable on the contrary if you're using kt telecom you will be obliged to recharge your phone at the end of every month which means even if you've not yet exhausted your money once it's the end of the month you would have to go and recharge if not your number will no longer be reachable so that's the disadvantage with kt to be specific your number will no longer be reachable and then you would have to go and recharge before your number will be reactivated but with sk telecom you will still be able to receive calls but based on the fact that you don't have money for data or calls you can no longer make calls but you will receive calls the fourth option will be in case you're already in the city and you're maybe around Hongdae that's around Hongik University in Seoul there is a phone shop or a sim card shop around the Hongik area the name is Chingu Tongshin. The first time I ever bought a SIM card from there was a couple of years back for a friend. At that time it was 10,000 won for unlimited calls and data for a month. And then 20,000 won for unlimited calls and data for two months. And then 30,000 won for unlimited calls and data for three months. But I guess I don't know for sure. I don't know maybe because business is now booming or i don't know maybe but i noticed that they've raised their prices right now they do offer twenty thousand won for a month of calls and data unlimited forty thousand won for two months of data and unlimited calls and then sixty thousand won for three months of data and unlimited calls which is still not bad though because compared to other plans you would notice that this one is way cheaper. They do exist many different types of plans, but you gotta be careful where you buy SIM cards in Korea. 
this is very important if you're buying a sim card please make sure you buy in sim card from a recognized korean sim card shop in most cases they do sell phones and sim cards together i mean like this shop sells phone and they equally sell sim card it doesn't mean you have to buy both of them if you want they'll sell it to you if you want phone they will sell just the phone so it's based on your needs don't go around buying sim card from those other foreigners shop sometimes people buy sim cards from those foreigners shop and then they end up receiving messages about unpaid bills and they'll find themselves abandoning those sim cards please don't do that the stories are out there and there are many so i rather recommend you buy a sim card from a korean shop and spare yourself the headache of changing phone numbers all the time go to a recognized phone shop like maybe SK Telecom, LG, KT and get your SIM card and spare yourself the trouble. So guys, that's it. That's it about where to get a SIM card while you're in Korea. Don't worry about not having an alien card or the ID card before um, applying for a Korean SIM card. It's very easy. All you need to have is your passport and then go to, like I said, SK Telecom. They'll make it easy for you. They wouldn't oblige you to be recharging your phone number all the time like every month so that they would get some money and that's it